Hello, my people. It has been three good months since the Court of Appeal in Abuja struck out the terrorism charge fight against Namde Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, by the federal government of Nigeria. Since then, conversations about the federal government getting a stay of execution from the court to ensure the IPOP leader Namde Kano remains in custody pending the determination of the case at the Supreme Court have continued to wear fresh perspectives. Few days ago, Oji Ikalo, the chief whip of the Senate and the former governor of Abia State, Southeast State, where Kano hails from, said he's ready to stand short for Kano if he's released from incarceration. Days later, Choko Masoludo, the governor of Anambra State, asked the federal government to release Namde Kano because he is needed around the table to have a comprehensive heart-to-heart -heart conversation on the future of the Southeast. Soludo said if the federal government cannot release Namde Kano or conditionally, he will stand as shorty to ensure Kano is available whenever needed. The governor said Kano is critical to the insecurity conversation is crucial, okay, uh, to the security conversation in the Southeast and is needed to discuss the future of the region. Days after Soludo's statement, IPOP said, Kano does not need anyone to stand short for him before he's released. According to Imar Parafo, the IPOP spokesperson, he said the court of competent jurisdiction has ordered the unconditional release of Namde Kano. And so, the discussion of standing shorty for the IPOP leader does not arise. Note that Kano was facing terrorism and treason felony charges before being Hinyako, the judge of the Federal High Court in Abuja, and was granted bail on the head grants in April 2017. In September of the same year, soldiers reportedly invaded his hometown in Abia and allegedly killed some persons, 28 persons in number thereabouts. And this was what led to his parents' death. During the invasion of Kano, during the invasion, Nandi Kano escaped and subsequently fled the country. Inyako later issued a warrant of arrest for him because of his absence at trial. Aloy Jumako, one of Kano's lawyers, said his client escaped during the raid as a rule of self-preservation. In June 2021, the federal government announced Kano's arrest and extradition from Kenya to Nigeria. After his re re repatriation to Nigeria, the IPOP leader was rearranged before Inyako on a 15-count charge bordering on terrorism and treasonable felony. But in April 2021, eight of the charges were struck out by the trial judge. Afterwards, Kano, through his lawyers, approached the Court of Appeal and asked for the dismissal of the outstanding seven counts for being devoid of merit. In October 2022, a three-man panel of the Court of Appeal in Abuja struck out the remaining charges against the IPOB leader. The appellate court held that Kano's extradition from Kenya to Nigeria stand trial was illegal. That the federal government, the federal government later filed a suit to stay the execution in the appellate court and it was granted. The government also approached the Supreme Court challenging the judgment and subsequently filed an amended charge before a federal high court. Although the appeal court Quash the terrorism charges against Namde Kano is yet to be released to, and is still being held in custody because of the stay of execution granted to the federal government by the AP court. A stay of execution is a court order to temporarily suspend the execution of a judgment. Then, Olu Daromala, a senior advocate of Nigeria, said Namde Kano was discharged by the court 
and the charges against him were thrown out. Hence, he does not need anybody to stand shorty for him. The essence of bail is that you will be available to defend your case. That is the whole purpose of bail, he told the cable. You are presumed innocent until your matter is determined by the court. But in his own, Kanu's case, his matter has been determined. The court has found him not guilty. So, ordinarily, in a country where the rule of law works and operates well, he does not need anyone, anybody to stand shorty for him. There is no criminal case pending against him anymore. Of course, the government have the right to appeal. They have appealed, but having won this case, until that judgment is set aside, he is completely innocent of the charges. Reinforcing Olu's position, Efong, a human rights lawyer, told the cable that by virtue of the court of appeal judgment, Kano has no charges. Uh, Kano has no charges against him, and thus, the debate for bail should not arise. He said the fresh charges filed by the federal government is an exercise in futility because the court of appeal judgment invalidated the original charge. Nam Kano is not forcing, facing any trial or any charge in any court, he said. Whatever charge they claim they have amended is just an attempt to ridicule the legal system because the judgment of the court of appeal is quite unequivocal that no charge can be preferred against him in any court in Nigeria because of the issue of extraordinary rendition and the charges that they, that were earlier filed before the Federal High Court, tried by Justice Inyako. The entire charge was set aside by the Court of Appeal. So there is really no base in law for anyone to say they want to amend a, a charge that no longer exists or to say that they want to file a fresh charge. Now, if the federal government has gone to the Supreme Court to appeal against the judgment of the Court of Appeal, the Court of Appeal, in its wisdom, granted a stay of execution of their own judgment, even though some of us have reservations about the decision. That is the law. We must respect the decision of the Court of Appeal uh, and await the decision of the Supreme Court. So, technically, as of today, there is no base for them to discuss bay. Bay for what? Nam Dikano is not facing trial. There is nothing warranting him being released on bail. So, Nigerians, have you heard it now? That Nigerian government is just holding Mazin Nam Dikano. Now, bad belly. Nothing. If not, Kano does not have any business in that DSS custody. What this federal government of Nigeria is doing, led by President Muhammad Buhari, they have succeeded in dividing Nigeria. They have sown a seed of discord. Before this will be corrected, it will take time, honestly speaking. I'm dropping it again.